Good morning. This is the, uh, what is this, Wednesday. I <laughs> couldn't think. This is Wednesday, um, May the 5th. I'll get the date down here in a minute. So this is Glory's kids. We brought them out here. We're going to leave them out here and let them play. We actually put three puppy pins together to give them a huge play area. And I could keep them confined. And, uh... So they are all like having a blast. It's super, oh, foot went in the bowl. I saw that. Uh, they're all just doing super good and it's really windy. So I know this will probably be a windy video as far as noise on the wind noise, which I hate, but can't be helped unfortunately today. So we're gonna give you weights and collar colors. And then when I'm done giving you weights and collar colors, I'll try to find your puppy. How's that work? And many of you may spot them already, but uh, they're all like rambunctious and so ready to be out here and play. Everybody's in the house with us now. Uh, they are completely away from Glory. She is like excited to have that happen. And um, I don't think she's missing them at all, truthfully. She's like out in the play yard this afternoon playing and so she's like, freedom, no more babies. And can you imagine her nursing all these guys? Oh my heavens to Betsy. So let's go ahead and get started with these guys. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna try and keep a picture on the screen, but I'm gonna read this as I go. Okay, the royal blue collar, first off, and we'll find him in a little bit, he's a Merle, is five pounds, 10 ounces. I'm sorry, five pounds, one ounce. I read it wrong. Five pounds, one ounce. We have a single game of tug of war going on over here. Kind of hoping somebody else gets in on it. The yellow collar with the three zeros on it is a black male, and it is six pounds right on the button. The forest green collar, which is a merle male, is six pounds, eight ounces. The... Um, there's a female Merle with a yellow collar. She is five pounds, eight ounces. The neon green collared, which is a female, black and white is six pounds, two ounces. The purple collar puppy that has the three, I'm sorry, the purple collar, which is a black and white. I'll get my mind right here in a minute. She is five pounds, seven ounces. Someone just went in the water. Okay, it was the black puppy with the yellow collar. And let's see, the yellow collar with the three X's on it is the black, oh, we have somebody sitting in the bowl of water. That's the same one that tripped in it a minute ago. You'd think they'd remember who was there. Um, all right, let me get my mind back now. The yellow collar with the three X's is a black male. He's four pounds, 14.5 ounces. And the neon, neon orange collar black male is five pounds, six ounces. So the red colored puppy, this one is running with the rope around it. Uh, the red color, which is the black and white female, is five pounds, 2.5. The light pink, which is right there in front of us by the water bowl, that's all wet, is, and she's changing color, is five pounds, 9.5. And the neon pink colored puppy, the black and white female, is four pounds, 5.5. All right, there you go. There is the uh, color collars, their weights, and what they are. So, let me see if we can find some collar colors on this now. Uh, the one with the rope around its neck, I can't, oh, it's neon green. So the neon green one is laying here with the rope around it. There you can see the collar. And let's see, the uh, female with the pink neon collar is right there sitting down chewing on her foot. The purple collar puppy is trying to climb up on the bed and play. Whoops, she <laughs> got hung up when I went to jump off. The back end didn't come over when I wanted it to. Uh, they're all underneath me. Okay, the blue merle with the blue collar is right back there thinking about getting on the bed says, oh, I think I can. They haven't had one of these yet, so they're not sure what it is. Whoops, fell off. He's being a stinker. He's playing chasing and being ornery. The light pink collar that's changing color is right there with the white toy. 
Uh, the yellow collared merle female running is right there. There you can see the yellow collar. Um, all I can tell you with these black boys with the yellow collar, there's one of them right there, and I can't tell you what the collar is. Um, where'd I go? The one with the yellow circle, or the yellow collar with the circles, it's a black male, is right there. There he is, coming towards us. He says, hop, choked on grass. So he's going to lay down. Y'all yeah, can almost see that collar. Well, they're all scrabbling. Somebody's got a, a branch with leaves, and they're having a fit. All right, let's see. Over here, we have a tug of war going on. There's the neon orange colored black puppy and the black with the um, yellow collar, but I can't tell you. If it flips its head one more time, I might be able to see what it is. But that puppy has the white feet and the white chin. So it's the plain, plain yellow collar maybe. I can't tell, isn't that awful? Maybe the X's. I wish we had, you can tell this one has the white feet, white chin and white, um, that's the X's. I'm pretty sure that's the X's. He's peeking over the edge. I see ya. Yeah, I'm looking at ya. But I can't tell what your collar says. All right, let me zoom back out here a second. All right, we're gonna play King of the Hill. Before I get a bunch of emails asking me what this bed is, I love these beds. I'm no way associated with the company. I just really, really think it's a, a bed that's worth the money um, because they have such a great guarantee with it. And we use these for our adults, our puppies. Even my husband can stand up and down and jump on it and he doesn't hurt it. They guarantee him uh, for life. And there are different tops on it, but these are also used in um, animal shelters, places like that, because they're super easy to wash. They can't chew any part of it up whatsoever. And uh, even if you leave them in the yard, they're not going to hurt them. We left one out all winter last year and it molded. We just washed it and kept going. So uh, they do hold up great. That's the little guy with the blue collar trying to get up here on the bed. He says, whoops, I'm coming. He was our littlest one in the litter, and he's now over five pounds. Just a hair over five, but we're over five. So he's getting right up there with the rest of the group. Um, so everybody's doing super good. If you have not booked in for with me for puppy pickup, and you have not heard back from me, because I have a family that wants the 29th, in the afternoon and I am booked solid and I cannot find the text from that family. So if you had requested the 20, I think it's the 29th, whatever that Saturday is, uh, please call me. Don't email me, just call me and uh, let's figure out what we're gonna do because I have a family that's flying in that afternoon and they've booked me for the whole afternoon. So, um, Please give me a call. I would really appreciate it, and we'll see what we can do on times. Um, these guys are current on everything they can have. They are current on their shots. They're current on their wormings. And they're eating dry dog food completely. And like I said, they're not nursing anymore whatsoever. Uh, they're in three kennels in our house. So we have them in a um, five by 10. So we have them in here in four, four, and three. And that's the only sane way to do this many puppies and try not to keep them all together because it's a big mess if you do. But um, you can tell activity level wise, they are really, really busy and they're ornery and they're into everything. <laughs> they're doing well on no bark, no bite, no lick. I'm really pleased with that. They're paying attention. Um, and they're learning with me just smacking my hands and saying no bark, they all shut up. So that's a great thing. Um, and we'll explain that to you when you come. I'm probably gonna send out videos. I'll try later this week. Um, our best friend was in a tragic pickup, dump truck accident um, in Columbus three days ago and has massive head wounds and is in critical condition in the uh, trauma unit at Grant. So we're going over there today. I don't know what my schedule is going to be since I've been through some of this with my husband. Um, I really want to spend as much time with Vicki as I can. So I may not get your emails out this week. It just depends on 
how much time. Oh, there goes that same puppy through the water. The as much time as I spend over there with her. So we'll play it by ear, see how things go. We would appreciate some extra prayers. His name is Charlie. And uh, he's got a long haul for recovery. It's it's not going to be an easy road. So um, these guys are also, uh, if we're flying to you, please remember whether you're flying or picking up, they all go home with the collars on that they have. They're getting a weekly bath. Uh, they've been getting toenails done. Somebody pottied over here, so I want to move the fence before someone steps in it. Okay, so that way we can keep from having a mess. So let me move around here to a different area so I can get them all in. Um, so they go home with their collars they have on. Uh, they also, whoops, finger in front of the screen. Daggone, you guys are in the water again. <laughs> That's the neon green collar in the water. Um, you will get a health card with your puppy that will tell you everything for your vet that this puppy has had done to it. So everything will be on there. Um, and gosh, what else can I tell you? Dog food wise, I know I've been getting questions about that. I've got a few minutes left here really quick. We have changed dog foods. Um, I am feeding high standard in the purple bag to the girls in the kennel. Moms and puppies um, are on a higher fat, higher protein because they're nursing and I want moms to have plenty of nutrition for that. And you can, Kirkland puppy food, I wouldn't, eat, I wouldn't even go to a puppy food anymore. Um, they're making so many dog foods that are a one size fits all. You don't have to buy one that says puppy food on the bag. Just look for a good brand. Um, and ingredients are your friend. So read the bag, see what your ingredients are. If corn is the first two ingredients, you don't want it. Uh, there are a lot of highfalutin dog names out there that you see advertised on television. Just because they're on TV does not make them good. It means that company is great at marketing. So read companies, go to a, a feed store that carries lots of, of brands. Do some research, read, uh, there's reviews on all dog food. And there is some new research coming out about grain-free dog food that's maybe not cracked up all that it should be. Um, I will tell you that we have changed all of our adult kennels off of a grain-free dog food. Uh, we've gone back to dog food with grain in it for our adults. Uh, we always had good luck with it. We've had a lot of issues in the last year with dogs not having babies, not, dogs not settling when they're bred. And we talked to Ohio State University and they said yes. They have had a lot of issues with other breeders and problems with grain-free dog food. So at least in our kennel, we have changed. Uh, we are not using grain-free anymore. So uh, you don't have to get grain-free for your dog. Just do some research on the bags. If you want to give me a call, um, we'll be glad to see if we can help you out on other brands. You will go home with enough dog food to last you probably two weeks. So if you don't want to continue with what we're using and you don't find it in your area, you are more than welcome to switch dog foods. Just mix it with what we are using. So um, if you'd like an ingredient list off of the bag on the puppy, uh, puppy, on the 3020 that we're using, um, I will be more than glad to shoot a uh, text and send that to you. So, or you can even give me a call and I'll be glad to chat with you about that too. So, I hope you've enjoyed their video. You can see that activity levels are crazy. I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to get out of here. And if you have any questions, please call. If you have not booked in and you know you've talked to me and I said, yes, you're on the calendar for that time, please call me. Because if you're not on my calendar and I didn't tell you I had you on there, you're not on my calendar. So give me a call and have a great week. And we'll talk to you later. It's really getting windy out here. See ya.